Hi everyone and welcome to our daily show, The Big Story, where we discuss the hottest topics of the day right here in the heart of the newsroom. My name is Alyssa Wu and I'm coming to you live from The Straits Times. We are streaming live on Facebook and on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, do subscribe to our channel. I'll be joined very shortly by my newsroom colleagues where we'll discuss the topics that got you talking today. Now, there have been more scam victims in the first half of the year, despite measures from the police to warn the public about scammers. The top 10 scams were those related to e-commerce, loans, credit for sex and internet love, with the number of scams doubling for some. In an effort to stop these scammers, the Singapore Police Force set up the Anti-Scam Centre two months ago. To tell us more about it, I have a journalist Charmaine Ng with me. Hi Charmaine. Hi. So let's talk about the stats for the scams. What stands out for you? Um, so like you said, there were more scam victims in the first half of this year compared to the same period last year. And the total increase was 60%. Um, and the most concerning scam types were e-commerce, loan scams, credit for sex scams, internet love scams. And for these four types, they constituted 80% of the top 10 the types of scams. And for love scams especially, we saw quite a jump um, this year. Um, the amount cheated in total for just the first half of this year is already eclipsed the total amount for the entirety of last year. Mm -hmm. So the first half of this year for loan scams, it was 2.2 million and the whole of last year it was 2 million. Now, we are aware of scams. The public has been educated about it quite um quite often actually in the media. So why is there an increase? Shouldn't yeah. there be a decrease? Yeah, so um, so the scam tactics and the types of scams are constantly evolving. I think um, those of us who follow would know that, you know, recently there have been a rise of impersonation scams or Facebook scam ads. So they're constantly, these scammers are constantly revising how they do it, you know. Um, so it's hard to keep up and keep telling people, hey, this is a scam, this is a scam. Um, so the different, you know, modus operandi keeps... It keeps changing, Yeah, it right? keeps changing. Mm. So with this newly set up anti-scam centre, in what way will they be able to stop these scammers and help people who have been scammed? Yeah, so the anti-scam centre is like a centralised unit for all things related to scams. So... Um, the goal is to disrupt the operations of scammers and allow the police to intervene as fast as they can. So for example, they can freeze bank accounts within a few days of notification. Um, previously, this would take maybe up to two weeks um, because of the paperwork involved and everything. But they have collaborated, the police have collaborated with the banks, the, the three major banks, DBS, uh, UOB, OCBC. And most of these bank accounts that are related to scams come from these three banks. So the collaboration will ensure that you know, they're able to step in faster and get back the victim's money. Mm. But having said that, as soon as you realise, as someone realises they've been scammed, it's best that they still make the police report ASAP. Yeah, so in order for police to do that, you would have to make the report as soon as possible. You know? um, but the best way, of course, is prevention, educate, you know, tell your friends or family, like, you know, beware of scams. Um, yeah, so if you're ever in doubt, you can always go to the anti-scam website or call the hotline. Mm. Uh, and we have it here for your benefit. So the anti-scam hotline, this is the number, 1-800-722-686688. You can call that number or you can go to the website, scamalert.sg. Now, Shamid, what do you think will be the biggest hurdle or issue faced by this anti-scam centre? Yeah, so you know, the operations and the tactics that they use is constantly evolving. And they are, I think recently we are seeing that they're moving from one platform to another. So I think last year, most of the e-commerce scams came from Carousel, the online marketplace. But now that Carousel has implemented anti-scam measures, we are, we are seeing an increase of um, scams on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Lazada, Shopee. So, it can happen anywhere now on any di digital platform. Mm. And uh, to their credit, Caro, uh, Carousel did react to that and that's why they introduced Caro Pay, yeah. right? where the money is only exchanged when both the seller and the buyer agree that yeah. the transaction is legit. Yeah. Right? So but do you think it will be, we'll just have to wait for Facebook or Instagram or Lazada? We have to wait for them to do something? or? Um, yeah, so I think in the UK, Facebook actually introduced a tool for users to report 
um, scam ads. So let's say if they see an ad, um, let's say for example, um, saying that you can invest money and you can earn a lot from it and um, using a, a famous personality to promote it but it's actually fake, then you can report that. But that's only currently available in the UK from what I understand. So maybe in the future. Mm. Mm, hopefully. Yeah. Now the Anti-Scam Centre, they will have a physical centre which will launch later this year. Uh, can members of the public go to that to make any reports or do they still have to go to the Singapore Police Centre, any police centre to, to do so? Um, so there are no details yet, but we know that they will be opening the centre sometime by the end of the year. Um, so I believe you'll be able to go down there and make a report if you believe that you were scammed uh, and there will also be like a dedicated hotline not sure how it'll work yet but probably you can use it to report um, you know the fact that you you think you've been scammed and so on yeah mm. hey, thank you so much Charmaine yeah thank no worries you. So as we mentioned, if you are not sure whether you've been scammed or you want to double check anything, you can call the anti-scam hotline. Again, the number is here, 1-800-722-6688. Or you can go to the website, scamalert.sg.